Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, we're gonna do uh, Kill Me Girl by the group uh, Backseat Lovers. Oh, funny name. Uh, but uh, we're gonna, I gotta say the, the rhythm guitar on this song actually is uh, using a capo. And uh, so we're gonna, this lesson is gonna be in standard tuning. And um, we're gonna kind of just uh, pretend uh, the capo doesn't exist. Um, and uh, the song starts out with a little... Um, little, probably a little faster than I'm playing. more like that tempo but uh this is singing about how he met a girl she's 19 she's got a nose ring and uh so that's how the first part of that song is just played it's only uh two chords it's going from the c sharp which we're playing at the uh, fifth fret on the a string and the uh sixth fret on the d string Jumping down to the uh, G sharp, uh, which is the fourth fret on the E string and the sixth fret on the A string. Just alternate. All right, uh, so that's the first uh, section of the song. So the Uh, so that second section is um, we're going to play this uh, C sharp major seven, and that is like. Um, well, let's just talk about these three fingers here first. Um, your pinky is on the B string at the uh, sixth fret. And your ring finger is off at the D on the 6th fret. And your middle finger is at the uh, G on the 5th fret. That would be a simplified way to play it. Just play that little triangle. The triangle that is pointing towards your headstock. That would be... Um, and with the capo, that's probably the shape he's using. Okay, it's just a little, tr you know, it's like, it, it, it's like this uh, D7 shape, except you move it up to, move it up to the uh, str a different string set, which is uh, strings four, three, two, and your, your index is on the fifth fret and your other two fingers are on the sixth fret. All right, that's the first, uh, and then I'm just barring uh, fret four, just uh, just up to the fifth string. We don't play the sixth string at all. It's a good chord to know, though. Movable chord. So once you learn it, you can move it anywhere. All right, and then the next chord is right above us. It's um, uh, G sharp minor. You just have your, your middle finger and your pinky on the uh, fifth and fourth strings, your A and D string, or yeah, A and D strings at the um, sixth fret. And then your uh, index finger is barring the fourth fret. Now, uh, a simplified way to play this would just be to play. Uh, Bar, you know, with, with one of your fingers, bar at the uh, fourth fret cr across all four of the strings. And I, I like to use the side of my uh, finger, kind of roll it a little, it makes it uh, bo more bony. And uh, that would be a simplified way to play it. Just bar strings uh, uh, one, two, three, and four at the fourth fret. That's a movable shape too. All these are 
movable. So we could go from this little triangle. All right, the next uh, and final chord in this second section is uh, another major seven chord. This is the uh, F sharp major seven. So um, what this is, is kind of like, if you took a uh, an A minor shape, and, and you you got rid of your pointer finger and you made it with uh, your middle ring and pinky. It's kind of that shape and you just slide it up to the uh, second fret. Now that would be the simplified way to play it if you just want to play a, a chord fragment. That'd be perfectly acceptable. But uh, what you do with your ring finger is put it on the uh, second fret on the low E. And that is a F sharp major seven. You move it. You move it here, it's a G major seven. For here it's a F. But we're at the second fret, F sharp. So the simplified way though would just be to play it like a uh, A minor at the second the second uh, fret. Like if you've got a bass, uh, playing a bass note, you could just play the top part of the chord. So um, full chords would be like this. But you could play it uh, with these. You play it like that too. So uh, either way uh, is fine. <clears throat> all right, and then uh, that's those two parts of the song alternate. We just have the first part of it, which is just the. That's just the two chords, and then in the chorus, and it's not they're not even playing the chords; they're just playing the uh, bass notes. part is where they play this you know same chords but uh, they add the uh, F sharp major seven and then at the end of the song they kind of uh, switch things up of the song they go um, F sharp minor, uh, F sharp uh, major seven. And then they go to the C sharp. Uh, well, anyways, that, so they, they break things up that way. Uh, I, their sound, sound is a little cleaner than my guitar. They have a real uh, crisp, uh, clean sound. They're playing Telecasters. And uh, that gives you a little more high frequency uh, definition playing a guitar like that. So if you have humbuckers like mine, you know, use your bridge pickup at least. And I have to probably turn down my uh, gain a little. Um, okay, let's talk about the, uh, what the, the solos. They do quite a bit of soloing in this. Yeah, this is the this is uh, the lick they do at the end for a little for a little bit. They're just barring at the uh, ninth fret across uh, the E and the B strings, and then hammering on on the uh, B string at the eleventh fret. do that and basically uh, what they're playing out of here if you want a solo B flat pentatonic B flat minor pentatonic and 
what they're doing is uh, the reason that you can play that minor pentatonic is it's actually also the um, the uh, C sharp major pentatonic. See your root of the C sharp is right here on your pinky. So you could say it's either either scale, it's still <laughs> the same uh, position. You also have it uh, here at the uh, 15th fret, except this is the, uh, the your root here is gonna be on the fifth, on the fifth um, C sharp's gonna be on your A string. All that means is on the B string, you have to shift up a half step. But uh, if you if you don't if you're wondering what I'm talking about, look, pull up uh, some uh, diagrams of the uh, scale, the B flat minor pentatonic, and you'll see that uh, it's a different shape based on whether you're playing it from the sixth string root or the fifth string root. So they're almost the same. There's only uh, like one string that's different and that's the B string because you'll know from tuning the guitar, the B, B string is different from all the other strings in terms of uh, how it's tuned. All right, so uh, hopefully that helps you and if, it, if uh, you have any questions, go ahead and uh, put your comments, uh, put it in the comments and probably uh, the guitarist, the rhythm guitarist is also the singer so he's probably just using the capo to uh, make things a little easier for himself. But, uh, you know, that guy's a really good guitarist. Both the guitarists are, are very good in this band. Um, so, yeah, realize there's two guitars playing <laughs> through the whole song. All right, thanks. Bye.